morning everyone. It's great to see all of you here today again for my presentation on sustainable workplace practices. So earlier this morning, I emailed you the handout of the presentation. So um, you can just open the file in your tablet or your mobile phone for later reference. And now not to waste any more time, let's get started. So, regarding environmental sustainability, do you know that 90% of Australian businesses and consumers are concerned about this issue? But only 50% um, believe that they are doing a fair share to protect the planet. Okay? So, how about us? Now, let's relate this issue to our workplace by answering these questions with me. The first question, I want to know what resources do you use mostly at work? Can you tell me some? Yes, um, we mostly use um, paper. Paper, yes. excellent. And what do you use paper for? Uh, we use it for photocopying, yeah. uh, printing, yeah. um, and just, just general, generally yeah, taking notes. Very good, thank you. And do you know the environmental implications of using paper? Yes, well as we know, when we, when we, when we use paper and the, and the devices associated with them, it, um, it's leaving a bigger carbon footprint. That's right, okay. Thank you so much for your input. Um, so due to the harmful impact that the activities at the workplace have brought to our planet, um, the word sustainable workplace practices have been promoted and adopted in more and more businesses. But what are they? So sustainable workplace practices are defined as those that achieve these things. The first thing minimize damage to the environment and second reduce resource wastage and what are the benefits or the outcome of sustainable workplace practices so there are three benefits the first thing conserve natural resources and then help reduce operational costs and the last one, improve employee health and well-being. Okay, so after the presentation today, I believe that all of us will be clearly informed of and aware of the sustainable, sustainable workplace practices in our company. And all together, we will closely adopt the four following strategies and methods in our company. And these are also the purposes and the objectives of my presentation today. So the four strategies that we're going to adopt in our company, number one, reduce and reuse waste. Number two, reduce energy. Number three, add more greenery. And the last one, minimize e-waste. So now let's look at the first strategy, reduce and reuse waste. So waste in our company is mainly paper. So what do you do to reduce paper? Now look at these things. So instead of using hard copies, okay, we can store or retrieve digital or electronic documents instead of hard copies. So that is the reason why that I sent you the soft copy this morning. And only print if really necessary. The next thing that we can do, no letters. So instead of using letters or faxes, we can choose emails. The next thing, two sides are better than one. So make sure that when you write or you print any document, 
you do it on both sides of the paper. And when you print, remember to choose double-sided print option. Okay, this is about taking notes. Normally, we take notes on paper. But then, the, now, from now on, you can change a bit. Use electronic formats or app to take notes. So you can take notes on your mobile phone or your tablet or your laptop. And we can also reuse office items such as packaging, boxes, and stationery items as well. Okay, and the last thing about reduce and reuse waste. So in the kitchen or the bathroom, instead of using the kitchen roll or the paper towels, from now on, we should use hand tea towels or cloth tea towels. Now let's look at the second strategy, reduce energy. So energy is also one of the largest resources used in any office. Um, so reducing energy is also as important as reducing paper. So what can you do? The first thing, take advantage of natural light instead of artificial light. So remember to open the window anytime to let the light in. Now in case that we don't have enough light during daytime, we can opt for low wattage light such as um, CFL or LED. And this is also the, responsible, uh, the responsibility of the company to replace the old light bulbs. Uh, when you use the computer, that you have to take a break, go to a meeting. Um, remember to put your computer in hibernation mode. And if you are the last one to leave the office, remember to shut down your computers and turn off any light and or any appliances in the office. And the last thing, with the air conditioner, make sure that you set it uh, in the timer so that it can be turned off automatically. Now what's more, the first strategy that I want to mention is to add more greenery, that means more plants. So we do this to uh, improve the health being of the staff in the company and also to um, turn our office into a better place to work. So from now on, we will put pot plants evenly around the office so that everyone can enjoy the benefit of nature. And for you, please bring in a desk plant to improve the indoor air quality And also, we're going to plant shade trees in and around the car park to create um, a comfortable outdoor environment and also help cool indoor air. Now, last but not least, I would like to introduce you to a new term of waste that is e-waste and how to minimize it. So, what is e-waste? Please look at the picture. So e-waste is discarded electrical or electronic technologies such as your computer, laptop, mobile phones, uh, fax machine, photocopiers, um, TV, um, USB, keyboards, etc. And in the world, with technology being constantly upgraded, we've seen huge disposal of outdated electronic equipment, which leads to the fact that e-waste now has become one of the fastest growing uh, form of waste in Australia. And it is recorded that uh, by 2008, 
106,000 tonnes of e-waste have been dumped into the landfill across, across Australia. And this number is expected to rise to 181,000 tonnes by 2028. So this is a big number. So how can we tackle this problem? Now we're going to follow this thing. The first one, repair, fix broken equipment before purchasing new items. The second thing that we can do is to reuse your electronic devices by donating them to charity or you can give them to your friends or your family. And the third one, recycle electronic devices instead of sending them to the landfill. So by doing this, please contact your local council to find out more about their recycling services. So thank you for your input and your attention. Um, now I hope that after today, all together we will make changes. We will take action and be committed to uh, maintaining a sustainable and a green um, workplace to protect our planet and also to promote the well-being of our staff. Okay, thank you so much for your attention. This is also the end of my presentation. Um, do you have any questions or recommendations? Uh, yes, uh, there's one thing that I've been thinking about. I've noticed that most, most of the staff bring their lunch to work. Exactly. And which creates a lot of um, a lot of waste, waste yeah. which can be avoided by using a reusable container. It's very simple. You very just bring, good. bring your own lunch in a reusable container and that fixes it. It's very yeah. simple. Excellent. That's, that's a very good idea. Okay, so I make sure that I'm going to add your idea into our strategies that mm. we can